In a solemn ceremony at Camp Pendleton, the names of 89 Marines and sailors who made the ultimate sacrifice were memorialized in granite. All were killed while serving in Afghanistan. New at 5, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with how the families of the fallen have come together. With heads bowed, they came to remember. Remember those who went to war and did not come home. Their names, 89 of them, now permanently etched in stone. And to the families of the fallen. From the bottom of my own broken heart, I am sorry. General John Kelly, who felt the loss of his own son, Robert, who was killed in 2010. But to the Marines who did come home. Never forget and be proud till the day you died <clears throat> that you served your country and in many cases fought and died for it. Taps and the Marine Corps hymn closed out a ceremony which now joins the Afghan fallen with those in Iraq. For the families of the fallen, the most poignant part of the entire ceremony was the opportunity to take a remembrance back home. Alicia Maldonado, whose son Jose was killed just before Christmas in 2010, rubs charcoal over the name as a keepsake. I'm very proud of him, very, very proud. And I'm so glad to be here with, especially to see his friends Waiting for her turn to do the same was Julie Vintage. He was killed on October 13th, 2010. We first met Julie a year ago when she brought a commemorative truck to Camp Pendleton in memory of her son Philip. Dedicating this memorial to her means the world. It means Philip will never be forgotten. And that's, that's what is most important to me. And with a final touch, goodbye. Bob Lawrence, 10 News but never forgotten. The memorial was dedicated to Regimental Combat Team 5, which had deployed to Helmand Province in southern Afghanistan.